Well, another year has gone, so I thought it would be a good idea to have a bit of a look through some of the highlights of 2018, for there have been an awful lot of very good highlights over the year. Starting in January, I still had the Honda. Um, in January, I took it all the way to Cornwall and back. Honda SMX proved to be a very good car, and to be honest, I only got rid of it because I fancied a change. The Lexus was also on the fleet in January. Um, that was a lovely car, but um, too big for Welsh roads so I didn't really get on with it. I prefer small cars, and there's our nipper with a hammer sticking out the engine bay, and I don't know why. Um, I might have to remind myself why. Uh, January, of course, the 2CV came back on the road, and um, she was sharing garage space with a certain Invercar. Uh, there's Took undergoing an engine change with Ellie crammed into the back of the garage. Um, but fairly early on, I, I um, awoke Ellie from her slumbers and took her auto testing in Blackburn as before I got the wheels um, painted and uh, that was huge fun would love to have another go but March was the bigger news when Took had her first drive on the road here she is with the nipper acting as support vehicle uh, inspired my friend Docker Trigger check out his videos to come up with this rather scary image the hills are alive with the sound of Invercar in March I also got a few stickers made up and um, yeah, it's staggering to see how far the merchandise has come. T-shirts, hats, calendars, and we're sending them all over the world. Uh, that's the Toyota Starlet. Uh, I sold the Lexus and bought a Starlet. I had a very exciting snowy drive home in that, so do check out the video on that one. And um, this isn't all that long later where we took Ellie and took to the seaside. I think that's April, or as the previous shot was March. In May, I said goodbye to the Honda SMX. Um, I still do miss it from time to time. It wasn't the best driving vehicle, but it was very good for covering miles. As was our Dacia, which we bought um, late in May and then drove back in June, all the way from Romania. Uh, you've, you've already seen the highlights reel on the Mighty Dacia. But um, yeah, that's definitely one of the highlights of the year. Uh, that's it in Chamonix. Um, breathtaking views. Um, Oh, May uh, also saw me take Ellie to Silverstone. Uh, I had to do a magazine feature there. Um, should be some video coming from that at some point. Uh, and that was on the way home again afterwards. Just absolutely beautiful. Um, quite a drive in the 2CV to Silverstone and back, but all good fun. And June also saw me collect this um, Reliant Fox. And um, yeah, uh, I was really pleased with it. I still am really pleased with it. I'm only displeased that I haven't been able to do more with it yet. But rest assured, there's more time for YouTube in um, 2019, and that means more time for Hubnut. Um, July saw me buy two cars in the day, uh, this lovely Rover 45 V6, and the day whom it is, more of which later. But that was quite a ridiculous caper, which left me in the Midlands with two cars and only one person to drive them. Uh, the, the Matiz really was um, a bit of a dream because that's Ellie and the Matiz back in 2001 probably outside my old house in Birmingham. I went back there to try and replicate the shot but I didn't have Ellie with me. Uh, it's all changed a bit today. That tree is still quite big though. And this is um, Ellie and the Matiz being reunited uh, for the first time. But then the Matiz went on a road trip and it hasn't returned yet. Problems. Uh, more merchandise came in July when we got our Tuk t-shirts made up and that was all part of the big adventure where we went to Festival of the Unexceptional. This is actually on the way back but let's not let that ruin the narrative. Uh, it was a fantastic adventure and uh, that's uh, on arrival at Stowe House. I'm gutted I can't make Festival of the Unexceptional 2019 but I'm sure there'll be more fabulous, f fabulous even, vehicles. Uh, there's Tuk receiving quite a lot of attention. Uh, at the show. Uh, she went down an absolute storm. And Rich brought the Mighty Datcha over to Festival of the Unexceptional as well, so we were able to have a bit of a uh, reunited moment. Uh, Festival included other fantastic vehicles such as this early Nissan Bluebird T12 with a pantograph rear wiper and some Hubnut fans in their freshly purchased t-shirts in front of a gorgeous Talbot Avenger. Really is a great event. And later that month, I went to the Netherlands in a Subaru Impreza, and that was the most Dutch backdrop I could find. Quite fitting. And I was there for um, Japan Classic Sunday. And um, a fantastic show. I'm definitely going to be there again this year, because you get such gorgeous cars as this Datsun 280C with twin rear wipers. 
and also things like this Nissan EXA Pulsar um, based on the Pulsar that we knew as a Sunny here I think but um, designed in America very odd and there's a Mitsubishi Lancer wagon also with very odd rear lights it was clearly the decade for it in August uh, I went on a road trip up to the north in the Rover um, the Nissan Laurel video was shot on that trip there's the Mitsubishi Colt in the background that's also there and then August saw me take the Mighty Dacia to retro rides uh, that was the last time I had an outing in the Mighty Dacia currently off the road um, hibernating uh, 2CV then went to the National Microcar Rally where uh, it was actually quite big but I managed to get videos done on a Messerschmitt KR200 and uh, a Bond Mini Car as well and uh, definitely two major boxes ticked and interesting to compare them with the Invercar I think I almost prefer the Invercar in some ways uh, September saw me take the Matiz on a, a road trip that's up in Yorkshire in Embsey uh, where there's a very nice little steam railway and uh, but I swapped it back on that trip for the Rover um, and, um, the Rover was meant to have some work done but that didn't get done September saw me take took on the Mach run um, lots of very fast cars plus an Invercar uh, a great day out and uh, there she is on the run where she won a prize for most unique vehicle sadly all was not built well with the belt department and um, a short while later she shredded the belt entirely um, I'm still battling issues with that transmission I have a few new things to try next year meanwhile Ellie had an engine upgrade going up to 652 cc still in the running in phase quite boring uh, more miles to come and that's the rover while Ellie was in the garage in bits and um, yeah just before it went to a new home uh, there's the nipper again just just to show people you know it, it does get used um, it's next to one of our community minibuses there looking tiny and that's the start of work on the Fox but still a long way to go with that project and precious little time I'm hoping for more in January and the final acquisition of the year is the Skoda Favorite or Skoda Foreman as they like to call them in the Czech Republic um, be, being an estate um, I've done some work I've already taken uh, the muck off the tailgate painted the wiper arms polishing next year but yeah, next year I want to get the Fox on the road as major objective. I want to get Took actually running properly and able to go up hills. I want to get the Matiz back. I've got a problem, can't get rid of the airbag light, so she's still away. And I want to make the Favorite actually red. There it is next to my brother-in-law's um, Volkswagen van. And have some more adventures in early. But yeah, thank you for watching. And um, don't forget you can buy merchandise or when we reopen the shop at hub.org. And keep watching YouTube. I didn't want to go without saying a big thank you to you, the people who watch the videos, watch our crazy car adventures, um, buy merchandise and just support us in other ways. I mean, going through the comments is starting to become a full-time job, but I like to do it. I like to see what you're saying. You're also nice. You leave me nice comments. Usually YouTube comments are the world, world of the keyboard warrior. But um, yeah, I'm very grateful that all my followers seem to leave nice comments. So thank you very much for that. It makes my life um, much happier. But um, yeah, uh, I'll just say just before you go, if you do subscribe, if you look below this video, somewhere over here, I think, uh, there's a little bell icon next to the subscribe bar. And if you click that, it'll then tell you every time I upload a video or if I'm going to do a live stream, I think it'll give you some advance warning as well. Uh, if you're watching on a smart telly, I can't help you. I don't know how they work. But um, yeah, thank you for your support. Have a great 2019 and we shall see you in a future video. Farewell. I wonder if I might get that badge repaired one day.